Hey students, Mr. Reagan, and uh, we got our demonstration right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I have two cups. Uh, I have, well, two setups really, setup X and setup Y. Uh, and I have a cup on top of uh, my setup X and a cup on top of my setup Y with thermometers hanging out. And what we're doing is we're taking the temperature of the air above the lower bowls here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put hot water in setup X. I'm going to put cold water in setup Y. Um, and then we're going to take the temperature after a while and see how they have changed the temperature of the air above the hot water and above the cold water. Uh, so right now we need to get an initial temperature, uh, a starting temperature of what is the air above each of the setups right now. So above X it is, it looks like uh, 21 to 22 degrees and above setup Y. 21 to 22 degrees. Imagine that they're at the same exact temperature. So uh, we have 22 degrees starting off. I'm going to go ahead and put some hot water in X, some cold water in Y, and then we'll let the uh, temperatures change and see what happens. All right, it's been a few minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these temperatures and see uh, what's going on. So again, I have the hot water here in X, the cold water over here in Y. Let's see if anything happens. So again, we're measuring the air above the water, not the water itself but the air above the water. So in uh, X over the hot water, 44 degrees Celsius, 44 degrees Celsius. And for Y, what do we have? It looks like 19 degrees Celsius. So clearly we saw an increase in cup X and a decrease in cup Y. Oh, interesting. So the air above the hot water increased in temperature. The air above the cold water decreased in temperature. Beep, 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 beep,